The cute voice is in. Okay. Thank you, dog bass. At six, intermission three, part three, the last of the games, and I think the last game period for a really long while. I'm going to look it up because I know how to procrastinate. List of interact no list of homestuck flashes. Uh, this page is awesome. It's on bgreco.net. Gonna uncheck all the things and then just check interactive. And no computer. Wow. No way. Really? Is that so? Just checking something. Cool. Okay. Guess what? This is... Yeah, I was looking up something. Um, this year is the very last uh, Homestuck Flash game. Uh, or interactive game. It's not a Flash. It's JavaScript. But still, you know. So yeah, last time doing this. Uh, we have diagonal movement now. I don't think we did in the last one. We may have. Anyway. Yes! Okay. Yeah. No more games! Yeah. Okay, let's get started with the shenanigans. Open! You got some Fidu Spawn cards. Fidu Spawn? Fidu Spawn? Gotta hatch them all! If. Is advice you should follow if you want way too many fidu spawn crawling around. For safety reasons, the manufacturer recommends that you only hatch some. <laughs> eh. Hiya, Rufio. Sup, Nectram. Uh, how the flip am I gonna voice this dude? I don't even know how he talks. Ostensibly, I need to do a Rufio voice, but I've never seen that movie, so I'm not going to. Um. <laughs> oh, oh. You can get in a woo. I don't know how this guy talks. Oh, man. Rufio! Do it in like. Don't give me a. No! I'm going to do it in a specific voice, which is definitely not that one. Oh, hey, doll. You were gone a long, crazy long time. Good to have you back, though. Yeah, what the. Aw, oh, man. I want a button I can press to make sensor bleeps. Yo, that bomb stunt you pulled was some crazy bloop. Thought you were hatching a sweet Fidu spawn with that thing, TBH. Was no thing. Counterpoint. <laughs> sure. Don't sell yourself short. I don't think I could have done that. You're pretty gangsta, Pikes. Yeah, I know. Hey, let's start talking about how badass I am and then talk about you. Wanna ask you things? Shoot, doll. Those wings. You was housed with them, right? Or I guess pupated them when you hit puberty? Ha, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. I'm a mutant. Don't tell Kangri I said that. He's my boy, but you know how he's not down with lingo like that. Lingo like, you know, regular words. Ugh, don't even say it. He will, like, teleport into our conversation with ghost magic just to shoosh you. Yeah, he does that to you too, huh? That's some crazy shablooped. Okay, so you always had wings then. Then I guess you aren't secretly a god tier, or... 
Nah, might have been cool to go full on rogue. Hey, maybe you could have given me, like, stealing pointers. What is a thief at all? But no, I don't think I could have gone through with that. Not intentionally, I mean. Well, why not? I don't know. Killing yourself, that's a heavy thing to do. I'm not like you, Mina. I don't think anyone is. Well, maybe Damara is, kinda. But maybe we shouldn't go into that, ha ha ha. Let Unhashed Fittisbon lie, you know? This is the flash with Damara in it. Oh no. Uh, what I'm saying is, you got game, and I can dig that, but I was never as brave as people always thought. I don't know why they always thought that about me. Maybe it's my wings or my mohawk, or when I shout bangarang sometimes real loud. Makes it seem like I'm the shit with big self-esteem, but my self-esteem is nothing really to crow about. I dunno. Alright, so you never got to it, but you s I still don't get something. Didn't you have a totally fucking stupid robot money at some point, or did I just imagine that? That whole period of time in our session was real foggy to me, I guess, because I was dead for a while there. Maybe I got the ghost madness? I guess I could swear you was a metal horse, though. Yeah... Cronus built Rufio a metal horse body. No, the robot body was definitely a thing. I kind of blocked that out of my memory, too. <laughs> that was... That shiblooped was something else, yo! Crazy. I'm sure you remember how all that started, back when Damara and I were still dating. Ring any bells? Yeah. Fucking Megado. Do we really need to rehash that ancient bullshit drama? Bull. Lol. Wait. Why don't you ever do bull puns? Hashtag fail. No, no. <laughs> Just saying is all. It was that whole thing. Anyway. Uh, that's when Horace was kind of macking on me, remember? And I wasn't all about to vacillate with him and her, because I knew she was... So jealous. So floppin' crazy. So she made me a crablapple, remember? Take that shit, homie. Abalonism. Diaster Skemen. Yeah, I mean, she busted me up, couldn't move a muscle. Well, could still flap my wings well enough, heh. <laughs> really, I thought it would be alright just flapping wings around. I could still fly and just hang there limp. Might have been a dope look. But nah, uh, Horace thought better of it. Built me the Robobot, which was pretty tight. Like, literally. Screwed that shablooped together tight. Dude is good. Plus my wings, though, which sucked. And kind of awkward just having a real guy's head on top of a big metal body and making all those diastrous and legs move the right way. You know, trotting is hard work, yo. Especially on stairs. He warned me about stairs, bro. Better than being a apple though. I mean a quadru- I mean a quadru- quadruple- quadruplegic? Quadrup- Quadruple- Quadruplegic? God, quadruplegic? I don't know what word this is. This is a flippin' real word. Quadruplegic is a word. Quadruplegic. Quadruplegic. Affected by or relating to paralysis of all four limbs. Great, okay. Today I know now, so forth. <sighs> but I guess you didn't know what happened after that, since you and Damara were killing each other and all. No, what? Well, I died. Yeah, but... That's like... Well, long story. Guess you never heard. I'll tell you some other time. It's this whole crazy thing, but... I was dead, right? And Horace kissed me back to life. But just my head, I think. He was probably standing on some mountain, mountain striking, mountain striking a pose like a flopping gangsta, probably fighting a hoofbeat with a flaming mane and all. Hope someone painted that shablopped instant masterpiece. So yeah, next you saw me, I had my normal body again. It was cool of him to help me all the ways he has. 
And yeah, we went out, me and him, for a long time after that, kinda off and on, even after we died, in case you were gonna ask. I wasn't. Right. <laughs> Too much information, I guess. Sorry, doll. I always wanted to thank you for standing up for me. You know, when she crablappled me. Even though it cost you. That was pure class fight, so I'll never forget it. Man, I wouldn't have had to talk to you if you could just stand up for yourself sometimes. I mean, being paralyzed, not for standing. <sighs> yeah, I guess. You were the only guy in our group who was ever even close to me and pretty cool. Everyone else sucks, but you were almost alright. You were always such a pushover, though. Pretty lame, bro. T.W. Cripple Entendre, suck it! Excuse me, Mina. Lame is an ableist slur, which in this context is really inappropriate. Taking your jokes with ironic trigger warnings really does not excuse the behavior. I'll thank you to refrain from using such terms in the future. Also, when talking, be careful not to flaunt the health of your legs. Ah! Or more like auga, as in whales. Get it? Ask Rufio to join. I prob. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to say that was intentional. <laughs> But I also don't want to actually imagine Mina saying that. <laughs> I probably shouldn't even ask this, but since you're not as brave as, uh, since you're not as brave as people make out with you to be, I mean, make you out to be. Wait, what did I even say? Never mind. But would you want to come away with me to? Whoa, man! Not you too. <laughs> What? It's fine. It's all right that you dig me. I'm flattered. You were just the last person who hadn't hit on me yet, and I kind of dug that about you, you know? I wasn't asking you out, dope. Oh. Wow. Shablasterisked. Sorry, guess I got the wrong idea. It's just kind of a reflex doll. You know, everybody hits on me all the time, and I don't know why. Shablumped is crazy. Just the other day, you get this, some orange guy in a green shirt jumped out of some bushes and tried to kiss me. And I'm like, what? Step off, jolly man. Haha. <laughs> okay, Andrew Hussey. Maybe it's because you are a bitchy ass club of fucker with a kickin' hawk. Yo, that's cool of you to say. You've got kind of this Atemba Bishojo thing going on yourself, girl. Your style rocks. I always thought you looked pretty slamming. Unfortunately, this uh, is going to be promptly banned from both Twitch and YouTube simultaneously, immediately. Oh well. Yeah, that was when this happened. 3,390. Your style rocks. I always thought you liked pretty slamming. I could give you mohawk dying tips. You'd rock the shabloom out of that look. For what it's worth. I would be a mo dare dare waifu in the beat of a pup biscuit. If I was remotely attracted to you or found your personality more appealing. And also if I shared your dumb passion for troll anime and didn't think a clogged mouth's a blowhole. <laughs> Bangerang, that's a scenario I'd be alright with. No one really do no one really to talk to you anymore about my stories, yo. Since things got so chilly with my ex. God damn witch. Seriously, she crazy. 
So what were you going to ask me, uh, if not on a date? And if not, what brand of mohawk dye I use? Never mind. You're not even gonna agree anyway, cause this team sucks. Later, Roof. Be Rufio. Oh, she blooped. You want to be me? Okay, that's pretty dope, I guess. But can it wait? My Lucis is missing again, and I can't think straight without him. He's my happy thought. <laughs> I hope Demara didn't do something with him. She likes to flop with me sometimes by stashing the little guy somewhere. She's bonkers. Oh boy, is this a side quest or what? Wow, what a beautiful sunset or something. Look at that diagonal movement. It's a happy looking host plush. It won't be so happy anymore if you find a fitty spot and egg near it. Maybe you'll be able to find some eggs in this area if you keep searching. Then the real fun can begin. You start humming the fitty spawn theme song. What song was it? Lyrics? Sure, you got it. Fiddy Spawn. Uh, what's the name of the song? It is called Bronze Page Lyrics. Actually, neat. Here you go. The lyrics are actually right here, right on the track page. Pretty handy. And also art. Yeah. You're welcome. It's a computer or something. I look like I'm. You got a busted robot head. There was a rumor going around that once, through an elaborate courtship process, Horror sent Rufio a, robo a robotic duplicate of himself to spar with, piece by piece. The last part he sent was supposedly the head. That's almost certainly a myth. Horace is a pretty strange dude, but he would have to be a total lunatic to do something like that. The anecdote strains plausibility. There has always been an impressive amount of uh, parallelism between Dirk and Equius and Co. Yo, Matuna! You got a pair of Dutton Bubble Goggles! Hold on! Dutton Bubble Goggles. Yes. <laughs> you can see into infinity for eternity. Yes! Yes. Just the way Charles Dutton would have wanted it.
Whoa. Game. Whoa! There we are. No! Stop doing the wrong thing, computer! Thank you. What's up, Matuna? You okay? It's Matuna! Aw, looks like he's all tuckered out under the brain tree. Falling is hard work! Aw. Poor guy. This chest appears to have an extremely complicated lock. There's no way you can open it. You'll need to find someone who's handy with gadgets. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah! This one has both. Aw oh, man. This has Damara and Horus. I hate this update, it's so bad. Ugh. Great. Cannot wait to deal with both these characters! Mm. Alright. <laughs> these two characters are equally blatantly horrible. <laughs> Nothing against them, strictly, but, like, seriously. <sighs> Talk to Horus. <gasps> Your harness! I mean, heinous. Highness, I mean. Fiddle, please pardon my utterly execrable language and unforgivable stammering, your hoarseness. Shoot! I mean, heinous. Whew! I am a bale of nerves in your royal presence, and it has been so long. And when I am so spooked, you must know how that causes me to even more firmly identify with a majestic hoof beast. Hey, uh, Horus, what? What the fuck is that thing you're prefixing all you talking with? Oh, this! What, you don't recognize it? No, and it's weirding me out. Why, it's my smiling, smiling face, you silly, utterly superior person, you. Goggles and all, can't you see? I guess it's disturbing as heck to me for whatever reason. The last thing I desire is to disconcert our prodigal empress. I just thought I would try smiling permanently and uncompromisingly, rather than re-snorting to all of these, those disgruntled expressions I usually trot out. I've been cutting back on the horse puns, too, as you can see. Why the F would you want to do that? It was on Mulan's suggestion, actually. Huh? Oh, I guess you must not have heard. She and I had developed quite a strong and stable moralogence recently. Dang. Disclaimer. Less impressed than I sound. <laughs> that matchup makes no glubbin sense, dude. Cats plus horse, FTW. Exactly. Who would have thought? If you'd asked me before we all died whether I would consider romantically pairing with a ridiculous midblood, let alone Miss Lejean of all people, I'd probably have died regardless due to laughter-induced asphyxiation. If you're going to go, go out with a smile. But do you know that it was, uh, but do you know what it was that finally cleared the sweat steam induced fog from my goggles? It was meeting our postgrad counterparts, Dancesters, or shall I say, Dressed Sisters. Seeing our corresponding young Alternians, why it threatened to produce a tear induced flood on the inside of my goggles. Which, naturally, I would drain right away through the custom sweat valves. Their relationship, in spite of the STRONG class disparity I found to be so moving, so pure, it made me reconsider my perspective on Mulan entirely, who hoarsenessly I'd hardly even give, ever given a second thought. It's funny, don't you think? How our young ancestors took to a completely different social configuration, making for some rather odd pairings, both platonic and otherwise. A whole host of counterintuitive minglings up and down the Hema spectrum with no regard for class compatibility, and yet it all seems to make a strange amount of sense. Nay, I might go as far as saying it's all oddly rather... 
titillating. Oh no, perhaps what I mean is some of their alternative indis indiscretions feel a bit, I don't know, naughty? Oh, phooey, that's not what I meant to e mean either. P pardon my potty mouth. Now you'll probably mistake me for some kind of rascally deviant. Nah. Nah, it really is, but... I'm debating whether or not to read Damara's text. It's not actually a debate. I'm going to, but it's... <laughs> you just wait. <sighs> My mouth is quite the load gaper today. I know. Look, I'll let you vote later. Man, why y'all still acting like you give a heap of manure about dating down the spectrum? You and Nedja mean a thing for how long now? Yes, but no one was supposed to know about that. That was always to be my own private um, exploration. I had no intention of creating such a stirrup, though I have literally smithed such items before, but notwithstanding. It was only to be a very private, fleeting delight with a boy, but the whole thing became so quickly scandalized. A spur of the moment affair, really. And soon others were whisked into it, such as you and the vengeful Rustblood, and... Well, imagine my embarrassment. Trust me, the last thing I wanted was for royalty such as yourself to know I was pursuing forbidden blood. To be caught with my hoof in the chocolate jar, so to nicker. Also, Horace's own text gets worse later, and I hate this entire thing. Oh, uh... And I suppose I would have clocked my hands of the matter after the big kerfuffle, but... It does! I'm sorry. You just wait. I guess I didn't expect to fall in love. Also, Horace literally hasn't stopped smiling, and it's horrible. <sighs> it's true. I am not ashamed to say it. I fell mane over hooves, phantom snout over phantom hindquarters. He... he stole my breath away with but a roguish glance. Wow, life story alert. Do not care. <laughs> My apologies, Your Excellency. Just tell me why paling up with Mew means you have to make that terrible face now. She's taught me to get in touch with my anger. Through a moderately discernible series of enthusiastic minds, she has made it clear that it is much healthier to crush all negative emotions beneath a stampede of positivity, and to always be cheerful and upbeat no matter what, even if projecting that facade is at times physically painful. Such as... All times. Beer bee.
Okay, back. <sighs> Can I get a can of tomato sauce open? It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, I. It just will not open. Pretty inconvenient. I have done my best though. <sighs> that is some shit sauce advice, and you should give it up, Holmes. Um. Yes. Very well. Is this better? Much. <laughs> hey, no, you just wait. We're not even done yet. Ask Horace to join. Respectfully, your superlative magnificency, I do not think that would be advisable. Whoa, shocker of the centauri. Horse pun. To skill on fire. Of course, I will hold. I will if you order me to without hesitation. But lately, I've been attempting to canter down a trail of non-violence. I have been saddled for so long with anger and hostility, and now my focus is on solving problems in ways that do not involve confrontation or physical strength. Soon, I may even. <laughs> Soon, I may even be able to say strength without shouting. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> Technology can solve so many problems, for instance. Do you have any idea how much energy is stored in sweat, which may be released through its steam? Have you any clue to the might of a quadruped automaton, automaton, powered by raging currents of steam coursing through its exquisite horizontal torso, and finally jetting through a perfect pair of metal nostrils? I could build as many as you like, my empress. Uh, no, I think I will pass on taking an army of snorting horse bots with me. Unless you build this suckers out of gold. So that's all you do is build stupid shit that runs on your sweat now? Cause I could really use a guy with muscle. I don't know if you've seen this skull guy, dude, but he is ripped. Kinda hot, actually. Oh no, that's far from my only preoccupation. I have also taken some time to perfect the art of humor. Would you like to hear a joke? Oh no, fine. A horse trots into a thirst slash shanty. His muscular shoulders slouched, his noble head hanging low. <laughs> Sorry. It was not an option. Mina puts up with this guy. The dairy jerk observes that the great beast is clearly despondent and asks, Why the long face? So, God damn it! I am royally ordering you to stop doing that face forever. At once, my lady. My formerly perky visage withdraws, while my fully erect posture shrivels at your regal, <laughs> regal disapproval. I shall henceforth emote in my customary manner, as such. Respect. Uh, 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 we're at a branching path now, cause uh, we got another douchebag over here, a good friend Damara Megado. You got some more boon dollars. A little while ago, you would have been pumped to score this dough, but now this is just pocket change to you. You sneer with contempt at the pitiable sum of money and let it slip through your fingers to the forest below. Let the beggars and peasants scrounge for it, you say. Actually, I'll try being a uh, Horus right away, just in case it doesn't let us. Bring me a horse, and I am yours forever. Yeah, big surprise. <laughs> Who's this douchebag? I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> he 
Yuck. Sorry. Open. You got some fighty spawn eggs. You can go use one of these on the host plush back there. It honestly sounds like a childish waste of time, but little do you know that Fidispawn's key demographic is your age group. You are the suckerfish. It's you. The suckerfish is you. You're welcome! Use Fidispawn egg on host plush. Blech, what a disgusting, friendly mess. His sacrifice was not in vain, though. He was brutally murdered from within so that a new friend could be born. You hum the Fiduspawn theme while gently weeping. Examine. What an utterly magnificent specimen! But if you train horse or pony hard enough, one day he may become horse a roni by which I mean he will grow slightly bigger and gain no measurable advantages in combat. You will, however, be required to feed him more. <laughs> take horse a pony to Horace. Wow, taken! Give horse a pony to Horace. You did it! You brought me a fine young stallion! What a beautiful gesture of friendship! I am so fudging happy, you have no idea. Whoops! So happy, I have become loose with foul language and forgot I wasn't supposed to make that face anymore. You are, of course, free to be me whenever you wish, my lady. Be Horace! Vote now on your phones. Are you sure? The option is choosing between Horus and Damara. Which are we doing first? More Mina Horus conversation or Mina Damara? <laughs> this is the decision you're choosing. <laughs> Let me just say, you're scared for good reason. <laughs> WRONG BUTTON! Actually, it sure do be supper time right here, so this is going to be a dreadful cliffhanger for the moment. To be continued, in which, uh, Act 6, Intermission 3, Part 3, Part 2, the version you should not ever read or watch ever, okay? Thank you. Much appreciated. Do not. Okay? Good. I am poofing for supper so that I can mentally prepare myself more so for this. Woof.